on to your hats, everybody. Here comes some more orchid ideas. A week ago, I was in Aguas Mornas, Santa Catarina, down in southern Brazil. Had a fabulous meeting with Floripa Bob and his team. Uh, they gave me a tour of Florianopolis, my first time in Santa Catarina, and it well far exceeded my expectations, as did the organic farm in Aguas Mornas, the home of the Wild Orchid Project, out of this world. So we were enabled uh, to have a, a lot of time together and uh, really hone our pitch and get ready for our launch, which is five days away. We're really actually short in our preparation time, according to what the experts are saying. But we're going for $5,500. That's one quarter of the 22,000 orchid species. So it's a dollar for 5,500 orchid species of the 22,000. It's our first attempt of crowdsource funding. And uh, the three keys of which are the pitch, uh, follow on or proactive, and find an audience that cares. And that's something that we've really, really done. We've focused on the song, I'm Alive, by Caetano Veloso. And it was uh, the voiceover of Giselle Binchin. And it talks about the time has come for sustainable forestry in Brazil. So we, we, we've made uh, some really fine uh, notes. Some the mission is to develop uh, an orchid wiki, a Wikipedia of orchid. And uh, this is academic in nature, this project. It's scientific because we need the Latin name, the size, where the GPS coordinates, the color, uh, how, how often it uh, blooms and when, where, etc., etc. So this presents an educational opportunity because we're going to take this right into the classrooms uh, in Brazil. And, and teach kids how to take photographs, how to prepare photographs, and how to make web pages. And these are scientific web pages. So, you know, our first thing though is to create a wiki, and we have it. It's called wildorchid.info. Beautiful website, and it's ready to be uh, built out. And it's going to be crowd crowdsourced, so all of the content comes from the crowd. And it'll generate digital revenue. So sustainability is going to come from the internet and from digital products and ideas and information. That's our main uh, core belief. And it's information about the Floresta Atlantica, the Atlantic forest. So many people have it wrong. They think the Amazon is the most important forest. It's not. It's the Atlantic forest. And sustainable forestry is our main, main deal. That's what we're all about, is trying to create sustainability in the rainforest. And we want to create scholarship program right away and get good at crowdfunding so we can send some people to university to become experts on orchid botanists. So scholarship programs and all in all, what we're going to try and do is create jobs in forestry research. So this is a very worthy cause. We got it nailed down. Great team, great property, and we're rock and rolling this week. We're going to find an audience that cares. So we are going to be in touch with Andre Levin, the producer of the video called I'm Alive with Caetano Veloso. And also there's uh, some other major names in, involved in that. It's uh, Lenin, Criolo, Emicida, Precinha de Serino, and Sista. They all take part in that video, and that is the crowd that cares. Is they are singing about sustainable forestry, but they don't tell us how to do it. We are going to tell you how to do it, and we are going to have a pitch directly to Giselle. The time has come for sustainable forestry in Brazil, according to Giselle Benchin, and the Rainforest Alliance in a Caetano Veloso song released in April 2014 called I'm Alive. This is the theme song for the Wild Orchid Project, and it's our, our main inspiration. And uh, it's also sustainable forestry is our mantra. 
So this song really struck a chord with us. But what is sustainable forestry? Who is being sustained by forestry? Brazil has the worst distribution of wealth in the world and ranks as a total loser in education. But it leads the world in rainforest destruction. So how does this I'm Alive or sustainable forestry, any of this, benefit the average Brazilian? And who cares? It doesn't and nobody cares. But education is the key to sustainable forestry. Knowledge of forest products is critical to understanding revenue sources and the economics of production from a forest. Now, the existing paradigm must change because it, it, it doesn't work. It's based on a system where a tiny percentage of Brazilians control a massive amount of natural resource, which actually belongs to everybody. So that paradigm's got to shift is a tiny percent owning everything. And this is what the sustainable forestry projects look like today too. There's one big owner and a whole bunch of people picking berries in some cases. And we're gonna change that. We're gonna flip that upside down. Because the time has come for the information age to replace the industrial age in Brazil. The time has come for knowledge to take power and education to become a weapon used against the mass destruction of the rainforest. So we are right on target. We're going to need your help. We're going to keep doing uh, more videos. Our blogs are happening. Social media is all coming together. And we are going after this thing in a big way. And it's going to be inclusive. We're going to teach children how to make web pages. And anyone, teach all people how to become better at creating web pages. And we want to write for a grant to do a survey of the Floresta Atlantica. Because before you can really determine what's wrong with something, you need to count it, survey it. And uh, that we've got an idea. Uh, we know how to do that. And it's going to be crowdsourced. That's what's so key. So, thank you very much for watching. And please hook up with us and tell your friends. Ciao for now.